Imagine the heavens above, vast and infinite. Now picture a god riding a chariot across the skies. A captivating image, isn't it? This vision, as timeless as the winds, as potent as a storm, is etched into the folklore and myths of civilizations, ancient and modern, across the globe. From the sun-drenched plains of Greece, Apollo, the radiant god of music, truth and prophecy, rides his golden chariot, drawn by swift celestial steeds. Journeying further east, to the vibrant tapestry of Hindu mythology, we encounter Surya, the sun god, traversing the sky in his chariot of brilliance, harnessed by seven horses, symbolising the seven colours of light. This motif, this divine charioteer, is a common thread in the fabric of our shared human story, a testament to our collective fascination with the cosmos. So why is this image so widespread? Let's delve deeper and find out. You've heard of Apollo, but have you heard of Asvieniai, the twin horse deities from Lithuanian mythology? Let's dive into some of the lesser-known deities in the pantheon of sky riders. Asvieniai, the twin horse gods of ancient Lithuanian folklore, are a fascinating departure from the more familiar Greek and Roman charioteers. These deities, represented as youthful twins, are believed to pull the carriage of the sun across the sky. Just as Apollo's chariot brings the dawn, the Asvieniai's daily journey symbolises the movement of the sun, embodying the eternal cycle of day and night. But the Asvieniai aren't the only obscure members of this celestial club. Let's trot over to Eastern Europe, where the Slavic god Dajbog takes to the sky. Dajbog, another solar deity, is often depicted riding a chariot across the heavens, much like his Greek and Lithuanian counterparts. The Slavs believed that Dashbog's daily trek across the sky brought life-giving warmth and light to the earth, a testament to the universal significance of the sun in ancient cultures. What makes these deities particularly interesting is how they've been adapted and incorporated into their respective cultures. While Apollo is often associated with poetry and music, the Asvienii are revered as protectors of horses and travellers. Dajbog, on the other hand, is considered a dispenser of wealth and prosperity, reflecting the Slavic people's deep connection with the natural world. It's intriguing how different cultures, separated by vast geographical distances, have independently developed similar motifs in their mythology. These celestial charioteers, whether they're as well known as Apollo, or as obscure as the Asvienii and Dajbog, all play crucial roles in explaining the mysteries of the cosmos to their followers. These lesser-known sky riders remind us that the motif of a deity riding a chariot in the sky is not just a common theme, but a universal one. It transcends cultural boundaries, echoing humanity's timeless fascination with the heavens. Even in the most obscure corners of the world, this motif keeps appearing, but why? Believe it or not, these divine charioteers are not just figments of ancient imagination, they are celestial symbols. Indeed, the tales of deities riding heavenly chariots personify more than just the gods and their celestial journeys. They often represent celestial bodies and phenomena that were a mystery to our ancestors. Let's delve into the sun, the moon and the stars, the celestial bodies most commonly depicted as chariots in ancient mythology. The sun, a blazing chariot racing across the sky, is a motif found in Norse, Greek and Hindu mythology. The Greeks spoke of Helios, the sun god, who rode his golden chariot across the sky, bringing daylight to the world. Similarly, in Hindu mythology, Surya, the sun deity, traversed the heavens in his resplendent chariot, illuminating the world below. The moon too has its divine charioteer. In Greek mythology, Selene, the moon goddess, drove her silver chariot across the night sky, her luminescent beauty casting a soft glow on the world below. In Norse mythology, it was Mani, the moon god, who guided his chariot, bringing the calm of night after the sun's daily chase. Moreover, the stars themselves have been perceived as chariots. The Big Dipper, for instance, is often described as a celestial chariot in various cultures, its path across the sky marking the changing seasons. The chariot's path, often depicted as a fiery trail or a glowing arc, symbolises the movement of these celestial bodies across the sky. As the chariot of the sun god rises in the east, so does the sun, and as it sets in the west, so does the daylight. Similarly, the moon and the stars follow their divine charioteers, tracing a path across the night sky, marking the passing of time, the changing of seasons, and guiding sailors on their sea voyages. 
Not just stories, these myths were the ancient world's way of making sense of the cosmos. These divine charioteers in their celestial journeys brought understanding to our ancestors, turning the mystery of the cosmos into tales of gods and their heavenly chariots. The idea of a vehicle traversing the heavens didn't just inspire myths, it propelled human innovation. The concept of chariots in the sky has been a driving force in the evolution of human technology, pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Picture the first aeroplanes, for instance. The pioneers of aviation, like the Wright brothers, dreamed of soaring through the heavens, much like the divine charioteers of old. They saw the sky not as a boundary, but as a new frontier to be explored. The chariot, a symbol of speed and power, became a metaphor for their flying machines. And it didn't stop there. The motif of the celestial chariot also played a significant role in one of mankind's greatest achievements, space exploration. The Apollo missions, which took humanity to the moon for the first time, were named after the Greek god Apollo, who was often depicted riding a chariot across the sky. The idea of a vehicle traversing the heavens, once a symbol of divine power, became a reality. In the realm of fiction, the motif continues to inspire. Science fiction and fantasy genres are replete with references to celestial chariots. They serve as a symbol of advanced technology in stories set in distant galaxies and as powerful artifacts in tales of magic and myth. The motif has become a bridge, linking our ancient past with visions of the future. Even in the world of automobiles, the motif of the chariot is ever-present. Consider the names of some cars, Mustang, Pegasus, Apollo. They evoke images of speed and power, much like the chariots of old. This enduring motif, the chariot in the sky, has transcended time and culture. It has sparked our imagination, fueled our desire to explore and shaped the course of human history. It serves as a reminder of our timeless fascination with the heavens, a fascination that continues to drive us forward. The chariots of the gods, once a myth, now a reality. From the pages of ancient texts to the cutting edge of technology, the celestial chariot has truly come a long way. It's a testament to the power of human imagination and the relentless pursuit of progress. You might wonder, why should we care about ancient myths in today's digital age? A fair question indeed. Yet let us not forget, the motif of a deity riding a chariot in the sky is not a mere relic gathering dust in the attic of human history. It is alive, vibrant, and continues to shape our culture and art in profound ways. This motif has found its way into the heart of our literature, inspiring countless works of fiction and poetry. It has permeated our language, giving birth to expressions that we use in our daily life, without even realising their mythological origins. It has graced our screens, lending its charm to blockbuster movies and popular television series. Even our music, both classical and contemporary, often echoes the rhythm of these celestial chariots. But there's more to this motif than its artistic appeal. It is a symbol, a metaphor, a beacon that has guided human aspiration for centuries. Just as the deities of old sought to traverse the heavens in their chariots, we too yearn to explore the vast expanse of the universe. Our spacecrafts are the modern-day chariots, our astronauts the divine charioteers, their missions the quests for knowledge and understanding. In a world where we are often consumed by the mundane, the motif serves as a reminder of our inherent curiosity, our capacity for wonder and imagination. It nudges us to look beyond the obvious, to question, to seek, to dream. It encourages us to embrace the unknown, to welcome the mysteries of the universe with open arms and open minds. So you see, the relevance of this motif today is not just about its impact on art and culture, or its symbolic value. It's about what it represents, the human spirit, the human endeavour, the human journey. It's about our collective past, our shared present and our common future. The motif of a deity riding a chariot in the sky is more than a myth. It's a testament to human imagination and our relentless pursuit of the unknown. Next time you look up at the sky, remember the divine charioteers. Think about the celestial beings we've discussed, from the well-known to the obscure, each steering their chariots across the heavens. Contemplate how these ancient motifs have shaped our understanding of the cosmos, influencing scientific discoveries and modern inventions. These divine charioteers serve as a reminder that we are all explorers, 
navigating through the vast expanse of life, just as they traverse the skies. They inspire us to be curious, to seek knowledge, and to never stop questioning the world around us. In your day-to-day -day life, you might not command a celestial chariot, but you are nevertheless on your own unique journey. So, like these sky riders, keep reaching for the stars, keep pushing boundaries, and keep exploring the mysteries of your own universe. Keep reaching for the stars, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, like the divine charioteers, you too are on a journey through the cosmos. If you enjoyed this journey with us, do like, share and comment. Until next time, keep looking up.